The important thing to remember here is that he's a 13-year-old child, and so the allegations that have been made with regard to his actions prior to, he was not convicted of that. It's an accusation. And so the rush to judgment to say that he committed an armed robbery, the rush to judgment to say that he possessed a BB gun and that he pulled a BB gun, all those things are uh, issues that we cannot make a judgment call on right now. There is inherent bias in, in, in the police investigating themselves. And we have, a tr we have an issue with uh, this being a 13-year-old child and the, the call nationally already uh, for a transparent investigation into this shooting. All we want to do is, is call for a fair, transparent, and clean investigation of this um, police shooting. Columbus has a history of um, not indicting officers following um, shootings with Columbus police officers. Um, and this is something that's that's been going on for a long time here within the city. They're already going through enough of losing um, you know, their son so tragically. I mean, if anything else, we know that it was a murder. Um, their son was murdered, whether it was a, a justifiable homicide or whatever the issue those are things that will be determined later. This is a child, and uh, he looks like a child. He's not a grown man, 13-year-old. He's a he's a slight build, 13-year-old. He appears angelic. He appears like a normal 13-year-old would. He, he played football. He had hobbies. He loved his family. He was loved by so many people. Um, and it's this is this is going to be a shock for for all of his family.